Ladies and gentlemen, I want to design a sneaker today. We're going to design, I made this sneaker right here. Uh, it took me about five minutes. It started out with this, and I it just added a couple of things onto this. This is nothing um, crazy from what we've learned already, but there are things that you're going to need to uh, understand about this. There is one little issue that I had in here, which I do not see. Is that my, where's my Michael? There he is, my Michael Jordan layer. Sorry, I didn't see a layer that was pre existing. All right. So we start with we start with this, and it evolved into this, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. All right, you're going to have a text layer on here, a couple of things just to kind of retouch. This is um, nothing. This actually just retouches on a couple of things. It's just showing how to put what we've learned into a different medium. In this case, it's going to be a sneaker. So I went to the internet and I looked up sneaker templates. All right, just blank ones. You can get, look, they don't have to be Jordans. They can be any sneaker you want, uh, Vans, Converse, whatever. I did Jordans, all right? With this, with that said, I chose this one right here. It would have been the Air Max 90s, but I did the um, the Jordan 14s, okay? So, put the Jordan 14s into Photoshop, and this is what we started with, okay? First things first, I went and got graphics that I wanted to put on here. I like nebulas. Uh, mainly the lobster nebula is really nice. Has bright, uh, you know, colors. Hydrogen, helium, all excited in the air. It looks like this. So, I took the liberty of doing a search to save us time. I'm going to right click, copy this image. You can get any of these images, by the way. All of these. I mean, um, any. it doesn't have to be a nebula. This can be tiger skin. This could be whatever your heart desires. It could be, um, boy, it could be splashed water. It could be fire. I don't care what your graphics are going to be. I think I'm going to see a lot of fire. That's what I'm, I'm thinking if you guys get inspired. So with that said, I'm coming into here. I got my one nebula. I'm going to copy this image. Copied it. Go into Photoshop. I'm going to go into Edit, Paste. Bam. My, my image is now here. First things first, I'll put the image back over to this side over here. So I'm going to click on, see some of the tools so you can see what's going on. I'm going to click the Move tool. This allows me to move this anywhere I want. I'm going to hit Control T, free transform. Make this thing bigger. Hold Alt, uh, Shift rather, and you can stretch the. When you grab a corner and hold Shift, it stays in the same proportion. So I'm going to flip this around, maybe a little upside downish. No one knows what what side up is a nebula. No one, you know, the nebula nebula police aren't going to arrest you. So we'll come over to here now. We'll lower the opacity of that nebula so we can see what's going on. All right, very well. I'm going to show you a trick. Most people would do this. The low, the opacity, pretty low, and they'll start to go in. Let me just see if I can do this with this one here. Let me check something. I'm going to check the magic wand tool and click in there. All right, hold on. Oh, wrong layer. Sorry. Aha. See this? See, I was able to click all of that information by one click. Here's what a lot of you will do. Instead of doing it this way. A lot of people do this. They're going to get the image over it, <clears throat> and they're going to slowly use one of the lasso tools, the polygonal. They'll come here and do it. At this stage of the game, you should know better because right-click, deselect. You should know that when you go into this layer, there's good contrast on these contour lines. This is really good stuff. So we're able to use the magic wand tool. Click in the middle of those lines, and here's what's cool about them. They omit the little stitches. So it gives you that effect. So come into this other layer, bring it back to life. Make sure I'm going to get rid of my example layer on the bottom. Just kind of put it to the bottom of everything so we don't get confused. In this new layer, I'm going to go to Edit, Cut. I'm then going to throw out this extra layer. Well, before I throw it out, let me bring down the garbage pail so you can see it. Throw out this layer. Garbage. Edit. Oh, sorry, pardon me. Edit, paste in place. Paste special, paste in place. Now it's pasted right there. Bam, right into the place that it should be. And you could back out. And there's how it looks. It's a little uh, a little funky over here. We could fix that. Uh, the way to fix edges like this to get in closer is you will click on this tool right here. I'm now teaching you the clone stamp tool. For the clone stamp, you'll lower the opacity a little bit of this one. I'll hold Alt here. When you hold Alt, it copies what's there, and now I am fixing these little areas. 
by clicking hold alt get rid of that one oh don't like this one hold alt get rid of that one alt get rid of that sucker okay let's back out looks pretty legit no nope, right here i see one right there see those little glitches let's fix it clone stamp tool alt oh see the circle hold alt it's going to copy that circumference right there so we'll come in there and i can get away with uh, this dark line because it's a nebula and you know there's a lot going on so you're able to kind of be a little bit flexible with this stamp tool see this one here too and fix that one now when we back out bam everything looks great same thing what I'm gonna do is the nebula let's see all right let me make sure let's bring this above it I have another nebula right here pasted same thing I did here, pasted into the nebula here. I lowered lowered the opacity of it. Higher it, lower it. I'm lowering it so I could see what's going on. Now I'm gonna go back into my sneaker layer. Take this nebula off, click your magic wand tool, hold it down. If you don't see it, don't do quick selection. You can, but we'll do magic wand for now. Click in this one, and we'll hold shift and we'll click in this one. Now you have them both selected. Go into your backup the second nebula I have will go to edit cut and then you can go to the backup nebula edit paste special paste in place bam it pastes that right on there now if you remember the rim layer from the first project that we've ever done I'm gonna throw out this backup nebula now I don't need it so now we have the beginning stages of this what did I forget to do name my layers so I'm gonna call this one I'll call this front front nebula front nebula I'll come to the back in the back image I will call this one back nebula whoops cancel I will come on to here and I will call this back nebula so now I have the front nebula and the back nebula you can keep them this vibrant or you can lower opacities and make them not as bright you could even lower it and you can compile graphics on top of this stuff and have a rocket maybe popping out of here this could be all fire doesn't matter it's entirely up to you now next thing let's see other stuff I wanted to show you guys I believe we need a text layer all right or I want to put the moon I want to put the moon right over here so we'll have a moon over here We'll do that first, then I'll put a text layer and we'll call it a day because you could pretty much replicate all these skills and make anything that you want. So from here, um, excuse me, I'm putting this down a little bit. All right, great. In here, I'll go to the internet. I did a search already to save us time. I got the nebula. I got a great moon over here, okay? Beautiful moon, nice texture. Make that cheese. Copy the image, right? Go back into Photoshop, edit, paste. Let me show you. You can also hit Control V. We'll all go to paste. Bam! Got my moon. Control T. Very big moon. And it's above everything. So I'll shrink it a bit. Put it right about here. That's good. Low the opacity of your moon. Let's see what's going on. All right. Before we lower the opacity, let's get the moon nice and small and let's copy it. There's a reason I'm copying it because I also want to put this same moon. I want to put this circle over here as the Jordan symbol and I'm going to go to the internet and get a picture of Jordan in a really clear logo and put it above this. To do that, I'll come here, right over here, and I'm going to get this magic wand again. Good contrast, black and white, hello, delete, gone, now I have just the moon. Select, deselect, okay, I'm duplicating my moon, I'm going to duplicate it, we all know how to duplicate, let me show you again if you don't remember. You grab the layer, which is called moon. In the moon layer, I'm going to take it, drag it down, and duplicate it. Now that the moon is now duplicated, I'll take the one that I don't see. I'll hit control T. Bring this moon down. Shrink it. Hold shift. Bring it down. I'm putting the moon over here. I'm going to lower the opacity so I can see where the moon is supposed to go. Actually, the opacity was a bad idea. Bring it up. Let's get closer into that. Apply. Let's get closer into there. This is the moon. Control T. Move it over a little bit. A little bit bigger than that. That's too big. 
smaller, shrink in the side, very well, very well, and here, we got almost a circle here, bam, there it is, that's fine, apply, now, this background I do not like, so I'm going to get rid of the background in here, in the sneaker layer, I'm going to click on the actual polygonal lasso tool, because I could tell there's going to be bad contrast in here, I'll come here, and I'm just going to come into this layer, well, yeah, this was the original sneaker layer that I'm tracing the edge of it. Very easy. We all know how to use the polygonal lasso from the color balance menu when I showed you how to cut stuff off the car in the beginning videos, right? So from here in the sneaker layer, I will go to edit, copy, edit, paste special, paste in place. Paste it into place. Bring this all the way up, but it's going to go all the way up to the top. Uh, my moon, I don't see it. I want to bring that above it. There's my moon copy. And this layer I just made here, I'm going to hit Control L and move the levels out of the way and darken the background. So I could actually see the moon. Looks a lot better now. When I back out, now you can see that there's a moon there. I want Jordan over here. Watch everyone copy this and make E.T. Michael Jordans, right? That's what happens. That's such is life. So we'll come over here. Got a logo for Jordan. I'm going to hit print screen. When I go back into Photoshop, I'll go to edit, paste, special. No, 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 just paste is fine. Sorry. Control T. Let's back out. See what's going on. That's the one that I want. Magic wand. Good contrast. There he is. Control X. Throw out this silly layer. We don't need it. Garbage. In the moon layer. In the moon layer, I will go to edit, paste. Control T. Shrink him. Bring this over to here. Too big. Hold shift. Keep the integrity of the scale. That's going to be too big. He'll be missing a little bit. So I'll get closer in there. I can tell that his bowl is missing. So let's get closer into there. Let's hold Control T. And let's make him fit within that picture plane. Which is here. And that's a Michael Jordan symbol. Bam, 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 bam. That's it. Back out. Hit apply. There he is. Back it out. There he is. Sitting in there. Same thing I did for over here. You could put a moon texture over here too. So here's how you do it. It's very simple. You have the moon. Move the moon over here. If you, Whoopsie. Sorry. Wrong layer. I'm in this moon layer. Want to bring this moon over here? Okay. No problem. Watch this. Take this moon away. Go into the sneaker layer. Magic wand tool. Click on that area. Even misses the stitches. Great. Go back to your moon. In the moon. Edit. Cut. Don't need this layer anymore of the moon. So I'll throw it away. Garbage. Now, edit. Paste special. Paste in place. Bam. Now I have a moon texture. Oh, don't like the way that this bottom one looks. Get closer into here. Clone stamp tool. Ah, beautiful. Hold shift. Stamp in. Hold shift. Get there. Shift, bam, I'm cloning from over here. Filled in, no one knows it but us. Back out, bam, now I have a moon texture. The moon texture kind of kills it a bit. I think it's a little overkill. If you lower the opacity, it's nice. Or or that's fine too. Text is the last thing. All right, T for text. Click where you want to write. This is obviously the uh, color. You could choose any color you want. I'm going to put blast. I type the word blast, click the move tool, bring it down. I'm then going to highlight. Highlight blast. I will make it, I will text wrap it. I will do a arc. From the arc, I want it to only have a horizontal arc. Like this. And it's not going to be, um, that way. it's going to be like that blast. That's fine. Hit OK. Move tool. Control T. Blast, tilt it a bit, blast is good, and you could repeat the same thing for the word off. So I got blast, and we'll duplicate it, and now you have another one, and you could put the word off here, control T, and just change this to the word off, and 
that's really it, guys. You don't have to do anything other than just change.